This episode will cover the X-Wing technique, which is used in solving some of the hardest puzzles. Now X-Wings come in two variations, the column variation and the row variation. Well in this episode we'll cover the column variation. So let's start with our first example. In an X-Wing we're looking for a formation where the same candidate appears at four corners of a rectangle like you see here. In this example each of the highlighted cells contains an 8 as a candidate and forms the corners of a rectangle. Now let's look at the rows. In row 5 the candidate 8 does not appear anywhere else except in these two cells. The same is true for row 8. The 8 does not appear anywhere else except in these two cells. So this is a typical example of an X-Wing pattern. Now the X-Wing rule suggests that we'll have an 8 in this cell and this cell or in this cell and this cell. Notice how these two diagonal lines form an X and that's why we call this technique X-Wing. Now based on the X-Wing technique if this cell is an 8, then across the row, this cell cannot be an 8. And down the column, this cell cannot be an 8. Therefore, if this cell is an 8, its opposite cell must be an 8. Now let's check the opposite case. If this cell is an 8, then across the row, this cannot be an 8. And looking down the column, this also cannot be an 8. Therefore, if this is an 8, its opposite cell must be an 8. So in either case, you'll end up with 8s in opposite corners. Now we don't know which diagonal the 8s will lie on, but we do know that 8s will be in opposite corners. And one of the 8s will be in column 1, and the other will be in column 9. So based on this knowledge, we can eliminate 8 as candidates from all the other cells in columns 1 and 9 as indicated by the green rings. So let's go ahead and eliminate the 8s. Once we do that, we're left with a single choice over here. So this cell must be a 2. Now X wings can be quite confusing to understand, so let's look at a couple more examples to fully understand this technique. So this is example 2. Here the highlighted cells form the four corners of our rectangle. Each of the highlighted cells contains a 4 forming our X-Wing. Notice there are no other 4s in row 2 and row 9 outside the highlighted cells. So based on the X-Wing rule we can eliminate 4s from all the other cells in columns 3 and 9 as indicated by the green rings. So let's remove the 4s from the 3 cells. As soon as we do that, we're left with a naked pair over here in row 4, which will hopefully help us make further progress. Now let's look at one last example. Here in example 3, we'll explore some formations which look like X-Wings but are really not X-Wings. Now do you think these highlighted cells form an X-Wing? Well at first glance it does look like an X-Wing because each of these cells contains a 7 and forms a rectangle. But if you look carefully, row 2 contains these other 7s which violates the X-Wing rule. 
Therefore, this is not an X-wing. Now, how about this formation? Do you think this is an X-wing? Well, it sure looks like an X-wing because, once again, each of these cells contains a 7 and forms a rectangle. But it's not an X-wing because there's also these other 7s in rows 2 and 5. For it to be a true X-wing, there should not be any 7s in rows 2 and 5 except for the highlighted cells. So be very careful in identifying X-wings. Now how about this last formation? Well this time we do have an X-wing. And it's an X-wing because we have a 7 in all the highlighted cells which form a rectangle. But this time we don't have any of the 7s in rows 3 and 4 outside the highlighted cells. So this is a true X-wing. Now, based on the X-Wing rule, we can eliminate the 7s from columns 3 and 9. Once these 7s are eliminated, we're left with a single choice over here and here. So cells 23 must be a 6 and cell 53 must be a 9. So that's all there is to X-Wings. Now all these examples we just saw were column variations. We use rows to determine our X-Wing and then eliminated candidates from the columns. Now the reciprocal case is also possible where we'll use columns to identify our X-Wing and then eliminate candidates from the rows. So the row variation of X-Wings is next.